Back first of all, welcome to Maryland. And uh, let's talk about your transfer process and what made you come to Maryland. Um, no, definitely. Um, you know, it's nothing like you know playing for your home state. Um, you know, just leaving uh, Clemson. You know, it was it was a very big decision for me. But you know, uh, just being there through that process, I felt like I gained everything. You know, that was to gain. You know, from that. You know, I went to school and. Uh, you know, I got my degree. That was the biggest thing, even for Coach Sweeney. You know, he, he never has a problem with none of his players as long as they come to school and they graduate. Um, and on top of that, you know, I went there and I won two national championships. So it's like, what more could you ask for, you know, from a college program? And, you know, just uh, with my decision, just me wanting to be able to get on the field and be able to show my talents. That's, like, uh, you know, ultimately, after getting my degree, the second reason, you know, why I came to college was to be able to show, you know, the world that I can, you know, play ball. And just coming to do it from my home state, I feel like it was no, no better way to do that. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Uh, how's it feel to be playing in the Big Ten now? You played the ACC, you, you were on the biggest stage in the world last year, and you come to Maryland, and uh, how excited are you to, for that new environment? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling, you know, you hear the Big Ten is one of the best, you know, conferences in college football and just to be here and be able to play in and say that I played in the Big Ten, I feel like it will be a great experience for me. So definitely looking forward to all of the talent and the competition across the Big Ten. Coach Sweeney, what was his comments to you about the transfer? Um, you know, he was definitely upset about it. Um, all the coaches were, you know, with uh, Coach Sweeney, his biggest thing was, you know, he, after he said everything he had to say, he was just like, you know, um, you know, I, I look at all of you guys like my children, and sometimes our children, you know, make us mad, and our children do things that, you know, we don't approve of, but we don't love them any less. And, you know, his message was, you know, as long as I'm on this earth and I got air in my body, I'll still do anything I can for you, and I love you, and I want you to know that. And, uh, you know, I definitely appreciate Coach Sweeney for that, and I still talk to him to this day. Special guy. It's a very special guy. Right. And your relationship with Coach Locks? Um, goes way back. Uh, goes, goes way back, you know. Um, Coach Locks has been, you know, he's been a great guy, you know, ever since I met him. Um, he's always been there. And just looking at him and the things he's done, you know, uh, since I've known him, you know, it's just who wouldn't want to play for a guy like Coach Locks? He was the main reason you came back. Um, between him and him and uh, Coach Robinson. Great. All right. Best of luck. Thank you.